Hey, what's up everybody? John Campo, the Not So Neat Chef. I'm doing a pernil. Well, that's in the oven. But this is a follow-up dish, and it's a side dish that goes with uh, the pernil. Okay, we're gonna make moro di guandules. Moro di guandules. Moro di guandules. My Spanish sucks. I don't know Spanish. All I know is gracias. So anyway, yes. So all it is is it's uh, pigeon peas and rice, and uh, we're gonna make that uh, to serve with the pernil. That video for the pernil will be right there. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so what you're gonna need for this dish is, I'm gonna use one packet of this Goya uh, ham flavoring. I'm gonna use a tablespoon, maybe more, I gotta see what it looks like, but right now we're gonna start with a tablespoon of tomato paste. We have a tablespoon of Sazon, a tablespoon of oregano, one chicken bouillon, one can of pigeon peas. I don't know the difference between pigeon peas and regular peas. I have to I have to look at look at that. Four cups of rice. This is rinsed. If you rinse it, fine. If not, no big deal. But I, I started rinsing my uh, rice a while ago and I like the outcome. So four cups of rice. I think we're going to use a tablespoon or, or more of the uh, chopped Spanish olives. A couple tablespoons of my uh, sofrito. I'll leave the link over here. Couple cloves of garlic. What we have here is one onion, bell pepper. This is a whole pepper, but I think it's too much. And this is uh, the green is the uh, Italian frying peppers. Again, I think uh, it's too much. I'm probably going to use um, a little bit less than this. I'm uh, I'm not using anybody's uh, recipe. Uh, this is uh, I went and I looked to see what people have, and I said, "Well, I think I'm going to do this, and I think I'm going to do this." So this is my spin. So it might not be um, totally traditional. All right, I'm going to take. some of these fry peppers away and some of these bell peppers so I think that's what I'm going to use I'm going to use this this I'll put in a container maybe make an omelet in here I've got about two tablespoons of uh, oil. Uh, I'm using corn oil. You can use any kind of oil you want. I'm going to heat that oil up. Okay, I added the garlic. Let that get, uh, get heated up. Now I'm adding the onions and peppers. I'm going to cook these down a, a little bit and then we'll be back. Okay, now I'm going to add the to tomato paste. I'm 
Okay, I'm gonna break up the chicken bouillon cube. Now I'm adding the ham flavor. Adding the sazon and oregano. So I turn my heat down to medium. All right. Now my sofrito. I'm turning this down to a low medium. The rice, like I said, it's four cups. So I'm gonna try doing four cups of water to four cups of rice, an even ratio. And then I'm gonna use all the liquid that's in with the pigeon peas. So I need to measure some water. All right, I'm gonna add the Spanish olives. Let me see, there's a teaspoon, there's another teaspoon, so I'm going to call it four teaspoons. I'm going to add four cups of water. I'm adding one can of the pigeon peas with the with the liquid. All right, we're going to bring this up to a boil, and then we're going to add our rice. Okay, I had to switch to a bigger pot, so just make sure your pot's big enough. I always do that. I'm really bad at that. So we're at a rolling boil now. That's what you want. Now we're going to add our rice. Okay, we want to mix this real good because we want to make sure all the rice picks up all that color from the uh, from the tomato paste, which by the way, I added another um, another tablespoon. I think I'm adding the rest. So, the, so it's gonna be one can, one small can of tomato, uh, tomato paste. I don't know if this is gonna screw it up adding it now that I've added the rice, but. We'll see. Just mix that up real good. My heat's still on high. Now, since I've never made this before, I'm going to uh, I'm going to give it a quick taste for uh, seasoning. I think that'll be okay. It might be able to use some salt, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna chance ruining it. You can always salt it as you eat it. So I'm gonna let that soak up. And just as soon as it starts to look dry, we're gonna 
we're gonna mix in some uh, cilantro. So here I have a nice bunch of cilantro that I'm gonna chop up to add it once the rice starts absorbing the, uh, the juice. Turn it down to medium. And give it another stir because I don't want it to stick to the bottom. Actually, I turned it all the way down. Okay. I'm turning this down, way down, to, to like a simmer. Okay, I'm going to stir this in now. This being the uh, cilantro, of course. And we're going to cover it and keep it really low for about 25 minutes or so. It's been about 20, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, somewhere around there. So I'm just going to fluff this up. I took it off the heat. And uh, that's it. Okay, so that's it. That's my, uh, whatever it was, the, <laughs> the Spanish name, forget it, I, I forget. It's uh, pigeon peas and rice. And I um, can't wait to try it. I've never tried it before. Let me know what you think of this. Uh, like, subscribe. Um, and uh, until next time, John Campo, the Nazanich Chef.